going to do another proof by induction. I'm going to prove the following result. Let alpha be any real number such that alpha plus 1 over alpha is an integer. And what I'm going to prove is that in that case, for all natural numbers n, remember it's a proof by induction, so it's going to say something for all natural numbers n, alpha to the n plus 1 over alpha to the n is also an integer. So how am I going to do this? In this case, I'm going to need two initial steps. Usually one initial step is enough, but in this case, I'm going to need two. So I'm going to use two initial steps. First of all, when n equals 1, well, when n equals 1, it's just the given result. But this is true, right? The result is given. When n equals 2, what do we need to show? We need to show that alpha squared plus 1 over alpha squared is an integer. Alpha stays fixed during all of this. Don't try and make alpha go up as natural numbers. Alpha is a fixed real number. A fixed real number. So this is what we need to show. Now let's see. Can we somehow use the thing that we know to get the thing that we want to show? Well, what happens if we square that? Let's just try. Alpha plus 1 over alpha squared. Well, that equals alpha squared plus 1 over alpha squared plus 2. So the thing that we want is alpha squared plus 1 over alpha squared. So let's get that by itself on one side. That's the same as alpha plus 1 over alpha squared minus 2. But we know that alpha plus 1 over alpha is an integer, so when we square it, it's still an integer. And we know that minus 2 is an integer, so when we take the whole thing, we get an integer. So that's the 1 and 2 initial steps. So now let's do the induction step. In this case, we need to assume the result is true for k minus 1 and k. So we're going to assume the result is true for n equals k minus 1, i.e. alpha to the k minus 1 plus 1 over alpha to the k minus 1 is an integer, and n equals k, i.e. that alpha to the k plus 1 over alpha to the k is also an integer. Now, what we want to show We want to show the result for n equals k plus 1, right? Which is that alpha to the k plus 1 plus 1 over alpha to the k plus 1 is an integer. So here's the thing we're trying to understand. How can we understand it in terms of the things we already know? Well, let's try doing something a bit similar to what we did here. Let's take alpha to the k plus alpha to the k minus uh, alpha, alpha to the k plus 1 over alpha to the k. So we've got alpha to the k plus 1 over alpha to the k. I'm going to take that and I'm going to multiply it by alpha plus 1 over alpha again. So what do we get? We get alpha to the k plus 1 plus 1 over alpha to the k plus 1 plus cross terms. So we've got alpha to the k over alpha and alpha over alpha to the k. So if we cancel those down, we get alpha to the k plus 1 plus 1 over alpha to the k plus 1 plus alpha to the k minus 1 plus 1 over alpha to the k minus 1. Because if we cancel that out, we get alpha to the k minus 1 
on top, and if we cancel this out, we get alpha to the k minus 1 on the bottom. So now look what we've got. This is the result for n equals k. So we know that's an integer. This we know about from the result for n equals 1. This is the thing that we want to understand. This is the n equals k plus 1 thing. And this is the result for n equals k minus 1. So what do we know? Well, we know that this is an integer because we've assumed it's an integer here. So that gives us that part. We know that this is an integer because that was the n equals 1 case. So that gives us this part. We know that this is an integer because we assumed the k minus 1 case. So everything here is an integer apart from that we don't know about this. And that's the one we're trying to understand. So hooray, we can conclude that this one has to be an integer. So alpha to the k plus 1 plus 1 over alpha to the k plus 1 has to be an integer, i.e. the result is true for n equals k plus 1. And then we finish off, because we've done the initial step and we've done the induction step, so we conclude by saying, <coughs> so by the principle of induction, the result is true for all natural numbers n.